All right, so now we're going to review week two for our level three class where we talked about footwork and, what's, uh, and such. So we started with a training exercise for Charleston. We talked about pulsing, getting the heels, kicking with the left leg. So we did eight counts, three, four, five, six, seven, right foot, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, left foot back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right foot, three, four. Then we did the pendulum for two eight counts, three, four, five, six, seven, and a two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So that's the exercise you can practice on your own. It practices your balance and gets your kicks going and make sure that you kick fully. You extend your legs straight every time you do your kick. I'm Joe. I have decided to join Kevin finally. Where did you come from? Over there. So in week two, we talked about how to do the leading of these Charleston kicks in our side-by-side -side position. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to rotate here so you can see our connection. So we have in, out, in, or forward, back, forward, back. So of course we had everything we did from week one, which was the quick steps. One, two, one, two, one, two, we had two one, beat. two, one, two, one. And we had one. single beat. One, 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 one. And then we added the kicks. So come in, I go, boom. Pulsing the body, keeping Joe's weight shifted. These are forward kicks. I could also add pendulum kicks. Meaning Talking. I can feel that the hips come forwards and backwards to let me know which angle I'm supposed to kick at. We also talked about as we move forward and back from foot to foot, I need a full weight commitment that moves me physically forward or physically backwards, just like when we're taking steps, so that it's not underneath yourself, but instead moving in a direction. Might be worth noting that when we did the solo exercise with multiple kicks, I actually step underneath myself. I'm by myself. No one needs to know that I'm making that weight shift other than myself. But when I have a partner and I want to really communicate that weight shift after I kick, and I want to change weight, I will actually travel. That's what Joe was just talking about. And that's what clearly communicates. And then of course you can also do the kicks going backwards. I forgot to show those. Multiple kicks going backwards. Excellent. So that does it for week two. And in week three, we're going to start putting a lot of this together, getting more complicated, having lots of fun. Can't wait to see you then.